guys, we are playing with slime. Uh, you know, I, I, I kind of get, I've kind of been put into a little bit of water. It's just a, it's just a gator. Um, you know, I, I think it's time that uh, I show people that I can do something else or they just slap. But no, I'm looking forward to it. It's uh, a great, uh, great field this year. Um, you know, it's, it's been fun to find competing against a guy like Bill Larkin. So it's, uh, it's always a, a, a fun, uh, fun little competition. Nice. Now, uh, Roger's Moments is offering you a chance to win a sign at Cotton McDavid All-Star Game. All you got to do is log on to rogers.com slash NHL All-Star Game now on February 6th Eastern to enter. Now, I, I was watching all old All-Star Games on Sports Night last night. Nice. He was on right after our show. It was Gretzky's first. I met Gretzky when I was like 10 years old. I was playing for the Toronto Arrows. And I think I got about three words out when he asked me to hold his necklace while he skated. It was an oil rings uh, ended with a diamond for the oil drop. I'll never forget it. But let me take you back for a second. Connor McGinn, back in the day, I believe maybe your Simco Express. Who's all star jersey would you have wanted? Gosh, Tim goes to this group and stuff like that. So, um, you know, I had a, I had a Sid jersey when I was younger, and uh, you know, kind of like your story there. If I had a chance to, to get an all-star jersey, I, I, I'd have to go with him. Do you remember the first time you talked to him? I met Sid uh, when I was playing in the area there. Uh, um, he was kind of just down the road uh, in Pittsburgh. Um, we used to go to a lot of Pittsburgh games. And, you know, one of the one of the the, the billets uh, the billets there and. and uh, and in Erie had a little bit of relationship with Bill Guerin or something like that. We ended up going down to a game and, and uh, we were in the room afterwards and I you know, got a chance to, to meet him. And he's, uh, you know, such a, a great guy and uh, I've had a great time getting to know him uh, over the years as well. So would you do the same thing for like a Shane Wright or a Connor Bedard? Uh, I, I, met, uh, I met Connor Bedard. Um, uh, over the summer, he was up training with uh, Gary Roberts at, uh, at our at our gym there for a couple of weeks. So I got a chance just to meet him, and I'm uh, just a really humble kid. And, and uh, he's gone from the show. We're pretty close to the anti hot tape TV. Like I like to think that everything's measured, or most things are measured. And I always stress that like progress isn't the straight line. No matter what anyone tells you, uh, success can kind of sort of look like that as opposed to the straight line. But how tough is it? For you to keep your patience while you wait for the success to come in Edmonton. You know, I'm 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 a part of that. You know, um, you know, I I, I uh, you know, when our team wasn't playing well, I wasn't playing my best hockey, and um, you know, I, I got to take ownership of that as well. So um, I'm just as much a part of this as anybody else, and um, you know, we got to figure this thing out all together. And um, you know, I want to I want to be in Edmonton. I want to win in Edmonton, and. And uh, that's my uh, that's my focus, and that's what I hope to do each and every day since he, since he last played. So you know, he's working his way back into game shape and feeling good again. And he's come in and, and uh, he's played well. Um, he's, uh, you know, he's contributed offensively, but he's physical. Um, and he's uh, he's a guy that uh, is going to help us on the ice for sure. On the ice, we've seen the results. What would he been like in the ring? You know, um, he's come in and, and uh, you know, he's just been himself. And you know, guys have uh, guys have uh, welcomed in, welcomed in, him and uh, you know, it's, uh, it's been pretty seamless. Honestly. You got hit pretty hard answering a question about him, and I said on the show that it was like a no-win question and a little unfair. Um, but was there worry about bringing a Vander Kane into the room, or even in today's society where this computer thing and these.